Um, well, it was great to see that the work we've done is doing something, but what it does tell me is I haven't done enough on those swales to control the amount of water there. So this one was the original, and it's actually, that's the one that's flowing. Yes. Let me show you that. That's the one that's flowing down and across the creek there. Um, and we didn't get a chance last time to put more swales out this way. Now I'm down on our third swale here and you can see that the swale obviously isn't level. <laughs> Which I sort of knew really. So I'm not sure. <laughs> it probably doesn't really matter because the water there it is coming down. I knew that was the case. I might have to look at how to try and get that a bit more level. But this is doing its job the way it was intended. What wasn't intended is it's broken its bank over here. Which I noticed yesterday, but I wasn't sure. I thought someone had done it, but it's the water has done it. It's found the lowest point and it's got out there. And just the amount of rushing down this way and rushing this way has broken the bank there. We'll probably look at somewhere down the highest point of the ridge, I think. Maybe somewhere here. would be a good spot to do it. Maybe there we make that a bit lower and then grass it, hopefully before the next rain, so that then we'll put another swale down further and collect that amount. As you can see, it's uh, Flowing quite strongly down that way, which isn't what a swale should do, but it's, uh, well, it's lower, not level. But over here maybe it looks a bit more level. And again, it's flowing this way. But look at this. This is holding the water in here. It explains why these bananas here are going so well because they get a lot of moisture. Comes down that little hill here. Right there, so the other swale is just at the top of this, like this little hill. You can see the top of it over here. So anything below that is coming down this way. And this is quite deep here. This is a good depth. What we'll need to see is if this is all going to flow down the other way and out and it probably will so might have to try and fill that rather quickly so we don't lose all of that water out of there this one was always it was just a gutter drain if you like very small drain around this hill there are a lot of mango tree mango tree roots in here there's the chicks say hello as we go past and now my hand but the water is collecting down this way. This is just down from the house. And the second swell there I think is doing okay. I'll have to check if there's any leaks in that. Head down to the back. And we can see here that this end of the swale, what that is, sounds like a frog. And through there, that's uh, quite deep. So the swales are doing their job. Just need a bit more, a bit of maintenance. To uh, after four years of not being here, no uncle seemed to know. Was full of ideas how to fix it, but he's been here four years without us, and nothing's been done. And this one here is again full of water. There, not much going on here. Again, maybe our heights have been a bit out. This is very full of leaves. Suspecting that I had the levels a little bit wrong there. And here it's quite full again. Again, doing its job, but there's not, this isn't very deep at this point because this was sort of made this as a path, and, but through here. This is working great. 
And this is exactly what we want to see for the size of the swale that we've got, of course. But what I didn't know, what I didn't realise is the amount of water that would fill you get into here and you can see here that it's just starting to burst over the and in fact this wouldn't be a bad place for an overflow because this is the top of the ridge now i don't know how i'm going to get grass growing under the mango tree here in finishing i'll just come up the top here to our top swale this is the one that was dug out and as we can see there's very little water now flowing in here that's only a very small catchment just at the very top of the road and there is a, a little still coming in and that seems to be the right angle to come down we've deposited some silt here and we only dug out to about here so it's um filled all of that and has filled the swale up this way. And yeah, okay, I've got plenty to do after to learn from this. But all in all, I'm uh, pretty happy with how it's all worked out. In fact, just looking here, there we go. The water is actually getting out. It's found its own path here and it's running down our truck. Now that possibly explains why so much silt has, if you've got a bigger event than this, that would have taken silt down into that path that's filled up the, the track down there that used to be going down. So there's a quick update on how we're trying to control the water here at Lost Carol's Farm. We've just had a rain event. I reckon it's got to be 10 at least millimetres. Could be a bit higher, 15 maybe. There's a lot of learnings I've done from that, but it, we're heading in the right direction anyway. But obviously there's a bit to, a little bit to work on. But now that we're here permanently, we'll, I'll be able to keep an eye on these and, and just improve them, make little tweaks here and there. And the ideal is that we maintain the road in a passable state without being boggy. And we capture the water and keep it on our farm as long as we can and slow it down. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Here as well, I need to be careful because that's our path up to the house there and I really don't want to overflow that. So I might I'd have to do something a little bit different here, maybe with an overflow pipe or something. Because I don't really want the water flowing over here. This is going to be food forest in here. I'm going to 